Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I want you to spend the day with me in the kitchen. So today I'm going to be showing you a breakfast that I made. That was a little while ago, this is later. I'm going to be making some really yummy ice cream in our ice cream maker, and then I'm gonna make a very, very simple dinner tonight. It's like a 15, 20 minute dinner. It's seriously so easy and so, so good. We've had it a lot of times lately. So I'm gonna share all of that with you today, but I'm also gonna do some cleaning as well. And if you like cooking and cleaning, you probably like decorating too. And I've got some good news. I've got a friend of mine who I am collabing with today, Sky over at House and Home. Um, she's going to be doing some cooking today and some decorating as well. So once you're done watching my video, I'm gonna have her video linked below. I want you to go check it out, go give her some love. Her home is absolutely gorgeous, and she is just a sweetheart. So I want you to go watch her video, too. I'm sure she's going to be making some really yummy food, and then she's going to be doing some decorating, and she's going to bring you all along while she does that. So don't forget to check that out at the end. I never thought in the wildest dream I'd see you again. Never dreamed about now. First thing I'm going to be doing this morning is making biscuits and gravy. I recently discovered this new recipe, new to me recipe from Old World Home. I will link her video for it below. You just need these five ingredients, that's it, and they make super fluffy, great tasting biscuits. Since we loved the recipe so much, I wrote it down on this little recipe card. I'm pretty much going to have it memorized here soon, but anyway, the first thing we're going to start with is two cups of all-purpose flour. Cause I can stay till the morning. One tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm whisk all of that together. I have five tablespoons of really cold butter that I've just chopped into really small pieces, and I'm gonna incorporate that into the flour mixture. You could always use like a KitchenAid mixer or you know, like a stand mixer. I don't have one, so I just do this the old-fashioned way, which is by hand. I'm gonna add all of this in and just kind of incorporate it all together. This is the messy part, but honestly, I don't mind it. It's kind of fun. So much better, I've washed my hands so I can get a couple of things done. First of all, I'm going to flour my surface here where I'm gonna kind of press out my dough. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my baking sheet as well. Cause right now, we're not together. I need two-thirds a cup of milk and you can always add a little more milk if it feels too dry but I've only had to do that once and I've made this several times so two-thirds seems to be just the right amount and now I'm just gonna mix this by hand form it into like a dough ball and then I will put it here on my floured surface. Massive fail. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. <laughs> but you just want to press out your um, biscuit dough on your floured surface to about half an inch thick and you're gonna get about six good sized biscuits out of it. My last one always looks a little messy because I don't use my cup to cut it out. I just use the remainder of the dough. But you can use your biscuit cutter or your cup. These are gonna go in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes and they come out Perfectly. Now we're going to get started on the gravy. Stephen <laughs> was wanting some bacon and sausage yesterday, so he cut him off just a little bit of this. So we have almost a full pound of bacon, not quite, or not bacon, sausage, not quite, but I'm going to brown that up here in this skillet. I'm just going to break it up as I put it in. Instead of having to fool with trying to mash it up. While our sausage starts to cook, I'm going to start cleaning up 
The kitchen is a little bit messy. It was not completely clean last night because this happened and didn't go in there. So I'm gonna start cleaning up a good bit while that's browning up just so I have a head start on getting the kitchen cleaned up. check on the biscuits. They are almost there. I have turned the heat down to medium low. We're going to add in a total of almost a third a cup of flour to our sausage. I'm going to stir in some of it now and get it all coated. We're going to cook this for just a couple of minutes and then we will add in our milk. Okay, now that we've got our flour all soaked up in the sausage, we're gonna start adding our milk. I've got two cups of whole milk that I'm gonna start with. I'll probably work up to about three cups. And we're just going to stir this around and let it begin to thicken. It's gonna take probably 10 to 12 minutes. I pull into your driveway, it's a Saturday night. Look like a million bucks wearing that dress I like You're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes Girl, I can tell that you have something on your mind But I will make you forget all your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade if you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile? Where's that? It's starting to thicken up. It's been about seven or eight minutes. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes and add in some salt and pepper. And then it's gonna be time to eat. Girl that I know with a heart on fire. I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. It's been 
been several hours. It is the afternoon time now, and I'm going to be making our second batch of strawberry ice cream. I found this recipe online, and I shared, I talked about it in my last uh, grocery haul that I did last week, a week ago from today, if you're watching this when it goes up. And y'all said, a lot of y'all said, you wanted to see me make it. So we're gonna make it today, and I'm gonna bring you along. So let's get going. It feels all right, all night. We're all about the good vibes. I need two cups of strawberries that's been chopped. I quarter them and then I'm going to be adding in a half a cup of sugar and we're going to just let that kind of draw the juices out of the strawberries for about 15 minutes. We'll just let them hang out in this bowl over here. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes and now we're just going to put all of these into a blender. You can use a food processor if you want to, but I don't even have one. So I just put it in here. You can pulse it completely to purely a liquid, but I don't. I like to keep a little bit of the chunks of strawberries in there. So I'm gonna blend that really quickly, and then we will combine everything else, and then we'll pour it into the ice cream maker. Okay, so now that we've got this blended, I'm gonna add it into this large bowl. I'm gonna add in two cups of heavy cream. This is my second time making it. It made a little bit too much, so I'm not gonna do quite two cups just because I don't wanna waste anything. And then I need one cup of whole milk. So again, as to not waste anything, I'm probably gonna do closer to like two thirds a cup. And I need a half a teaspoon of extract, vanilla extract. I'm just gonna eyeball that. And a dash of salt. Just gonna whisk all of this together. All right, and that is ready to go into our ice cream maker. I almost forgot a very important part. We need another half a cup of sugar. Now I don't do quite another half a cup, a little bit less. I would have been very sad if I made this and I'd messed it up. Now we're ready to go into the ice cream maker. So you always want to turn on your ice cream maker first and then pour the ingredients in. Okay, so we're gonna let that go for like 15 minutes and while it's doing its thing, I'm gonna get the dishes cleaned up. What's up? It's almost done. We got a taste tester over here. Yeah. Yep. I've already taste tested it. It's amazing. I've got to pull this out of there, but I'm gonna let you grab a spoon real quick. Go ahead. It's gonna taste so bad. Yeah, it's gonna be awful. It's disgusting, isn't it? That is the best strawberry ice cream I've ever had. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go again. Buddy, you double dipped. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's your turn. This is the best strawberry ice cream you will ever have. It really is. All right, that's it though. That's, that's, that's all he can have? Press that now. <laughs> the bits of strawberry in there. Mm-hmm. And I love how it permeates everything. Like the whole, yep. the whole ice cream is strawberry permeated flavor. with that strawberry flavor. And then you had the little bits of strawberry. It's so good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So I took it all out of here and I put it into this container and we're just gonna stick it in the freezer. You just need to put it in an airtight container. You cannot store it in this. And I'm just gonna clean this out with hot water and stick it back in our deep freezer out in our garage. So it'll be ready for next time. to get started on dinner and tonight I am making Mexican Alfredo this is not my recipe my friend Carla McKenzie she has a YouTube channel and then of course an Instagram as well she came up with this and she's got it in her highlights on Instagram but I know a lot of you don't have Instagram so I wanted to show you here um, just got some taco seasoning we'll use this whole box of penne pasta you can use whatever cheese you want I just got this Mexican blend cheese some Alfredo sauce you'll need the whole jar and then whatever meat you want to use. She uses shredded chicken. We've done that once, but we really enjoy doing chicken sausage. But you could do ground beef. You could do whatever you wanted to, honestly. And of course, you could change it up. This is like a great base, and you could change it up however you wanted to. But this is like a 15-minute meal. I'm not even kidding. It's amazing. So tonight, instead of me cooking, we've got my sous chef over here and he's gonna do the cooking tonight he's been learning how to cook lately he's enjoying it this is a very simple one so you feel confident you can tackle this one yeah okay let's do it so Cole is chopping these up and while he does that I'm gonna go ahead and get our pasta started So I've got this water it's gonna come up to a boil and we're just going to cook the pasta to al dente like about 10 minutes or so and then we'll drain it and we'll add it in with the rest of the ingredients I'm heating this up to about medium-high heat I'm gonna put a little olive oil in there well cold is gonna put a little olive oil in there and we're just going to warm these through okay he's gonna go ahead and add in our chicken sausage dump them on in there dump them on in there Just a quick note, if you decide that you wanna use shredded chicken instead of chicken sausage, you may need more than one jar of Alfredo sauce, or you'll want to pour in the entire jar and then fill it up to, I don't, I don't know, maybe halfway or so with either water or chicken broth, just because the shredded chicken will soak up a lot of that Alfredo sauce. When you make it with the chicken sausage, it doesn't do that. So just a little note on that. Okay, now he's gonna add in the jar of Alfredo sauce. We're gonna let that warm through. He added just a little bit of water in there. He's gonna shake it up just so we get all of that Alfredo sauce. We're about to have a explosion over there. <laughs> there we go. If you have a pack of taco seasoning, you can just use the whole pack. We make our own taco seasoning, so we're gonna use about three tablespoons. So Mackenzie adds mozzarella cheese. We are gonna do a couple of big handfuls of this Mexican blend cheese. I really think it would be good with a like a hot cheese too, like the Walmart Great Value brand has the hot jalapeno and habanero jack. I think that would be really good too. So we added about a cup of cheese. We're just gonna let that melt all together and it's about time to drain our pasta. Now he's just gonna add in our pasta and we will stir it all together and it'll be time to eat.
So the water boiled over just a little bit tonight and you can see that it's kicked up right there. I recently bought these. I've only tried them once and it seemed to work really well. All you do is just put a few drops of water on there. It's got a soft side and then it's got a side that's rougher but it's not gonna scratch it. So let's give it a try again tonight. like it did the trick y'all so if you see these give them a shot there's two of them that came in there I can't remember how much they were I think I got them at Target but seems like they do a good job and that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for spending the day with me in the kitchen I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to go check out Skye's video as well over at house and home I have it linked below and yeah I'm done for the evening. It's kind of early. It's still, it's 6.30. The kitchen is clean. I'm sure it will get messed up yet again before we go to bed tonight. But I try my hardest to have a clean kitchen at night every night. It doesn't always happen. As you saw this morning, there were a few dishes in the sink. But 90% of the time, I try and keep it clean. That way in the morning, I get up, I come in here and I get my coffee, and there's no stress. It's all clean. It's, it's a great way to start your morning. If you haven't already, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me that lets me know that you want to see more of this type of content. Um, if you're new here, I share recipes all of the time, so stick around. You'll find something new to try. Thanks, y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.